Hi. With this movie we will show you how to create a page query and add pagination buttons which control the query results. First, let's set up the server action. Open the server connect panel and create a new action file. Add a name for it and right click steps. Then, add database connection. Load your connection or set up one if you haven't done this yet. Then, right click the database connection step and add database page query. Set up the query options. Select your database table and add it. Then, add the table columns which you need. Click OK and save your action file. Now, open the App Connect panel and add DMX Zone App Connect to your page. Right click App and under Data, select Server Connect. Then, click the Select Server Action button and select the server action containing your page query. Click Select. You can see the limit and offset parameters in the properties pane. Offset is used to control the paging and limit is used to limit the records shown per page. We'll leave the offset empty for now. Let's set a records limit. We enter 15 here. If you leave this field empty, the default limit of 25 records per page will be used. Now, let's create a variable which will be used to control the offset. Right-click Server Connect. Select Insert After Data Variable. Add some ID to this variable. Let's call it Current Offset. We'll leave the value empty. Now, let's go back to the Server Connect component. Click Server Connect. And click the Dynamic Data Peaker button for the offset parameter. Here, we bind the value of the variable, which we've just created. Later we are going to change this value, in order to navigate to previous, or next pages. Click Select. On our page, we added two simple HTML buttons. We will use them, to navigate to next and previous pages. Click the Next Page button. Under Button Properties, click the Add New Dynamic Event button and under mouse, select click and click the action picker button. Select set value under the offset variable. Now, let's assign a value. Click the dynamic data picker button and under your server action, expand data. Under your page query, page, offset, select next. This will change the offset parameter to the next page. Click select. Make sure the type is set to Identifier and click the Select button. Do the same thing for the Previous Page button, but this time select the Previous Binding. We won't show this now, as it is the same to what we just did for the Next button. We can also show the Current Page, as well as All Pages Count. Click wherever you need to show the page status and click Insert Binding. Expand your server action, and under Data, Query, Page, you can find the current page binding, as well as, the total page count binding. Select Current, and click Select. Do the same, for the total pages count. And now, let's bind the dynamic data from our query, to the page. We've created an empty HTML table, so select the table row. Add new dynamic attribute. And under Repeaters, select Repeat. Select an expression for the repeat. In your server action, under the query, select Data. And click the Select button. Now, just bind the data you need, in your repeat region. Click Insert Binding. Select a binding, and click the Select button. Do the same for the rest of the data. That needs to be displayed in the repeat region. 
Let's preview the results. That's how easy it is to create a page query and add pagination buttons, which control the query results using DMX Zone App Connect.